Hey there. Happy Thursday. What you doing tonight? I am in the at the Homewood Suites in Mawa, New Jersey. I am here for the Proper's Delight getaway, which starts tomorrow. So I didn't want to have to come out in traffic and everything tomorrow. So I thought I would come out um, tonight and kind of enjoy the quiet of the room. And I thought I could show you some of my borders. I get asked all the time. Well, I do get asked all the time. But somebody, we'll keep them nameless, asks me to teach a class about the borders often. And then this past weekend, I had uh, a few people ask me about borders and worked with somebody to show them. So I thought I could show you some of my borders. So I had to make them. So this is an example of one of my borders and I sell my borders for five dollars a piece but they really are really 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 easy to make so I thought you could I could show you how to make them let's see that's just pirate girl pirate girl pirate girl we have some wizard ones some more wizards so they really really are easy uh, what else do I have here these are the ones to take in tomorrow but I'm just going to show you how to do them. Hey, Linda. Tooth Fairy. Oh, these are reflecting because of the uh, packaging. You know what? What if I turn this light off? Oh, that's a bit better. So, Tooth Fairy. We have some dragons. So, all these are just borders that I make that are really easy for people to dress up their pages real quick. But they are also things that you can do using our templates, little monsters, quick and easy. So, if you're not doing anything tonight and you want to just hang out for a bit, I will show you how. So, let's play. So, I have a bunch of um, scrap paper here. And I found this paper. I've gotten it from a swap table. Double-sided paper is the best way to start if you just want to make a border. If you're designing your pages, then you can... Hi, Ashley. Ashley's watching. She's in Scotland. Um, if you use double-sided paper, they coordinate. Um, so it's really easy to use on your borders. If you're designing a page, you can do it a little differently. Uh, but if you're just making borders, a double-sided paper always coordinates, so it makes it really, really easy. So I thought these circles would be fun. If I haven't designed anything yet, I'm just going to do it with you. It could look ridiculous, it could look great, but I figured I would just show you how and we'll play with it. So, it doesn't matter what template, what border template you use, just use what you have. The most popular is um, Paisley Place, which is nice because it's nice and broad, so you can put a picture on it. You know what, young Ashley? Isn't it like the middle of the night there in Scotland? Shouldn't you be sleeping? So like a five-hour time difference. I think she should be sleeping. What do you think, people? Do you think my daughter should be sleeping? I think so. <laughs> to find Paisley Place. Hi Michelle. How are you tonight? What you up to? Anything? You gonna hang out for a little bit while I show you some borders? Um, let's see. Let me find Paisley Place to get started. Okay, Abbey Road. You may just go with Abbey Road. This is the new uh, organizer is what I'm digging through here. I really do like it. I don't have all my borders in the um, envelopes as we did run out. We sold out of them, so I think that's why it's kind of making it a little bit harder to find it. Hmm, let's see. Happy Trails, Clara. All right, where is Paisley Place? Oh, there it is, right at the beginning. So you see how they fit right in the pockets. Good night, Ashley, I love you. You don't have to go to bed. <laughs> You're a big girl. You can stay up as late as you like. I just suddenly realized it was late. What time is it there? You know me. I can't stay up as late as you. You're young. All right. So, uh, Paisley Place. So, oh, gee. Am I missing some? 
Now, if I was using these for a class, that's where they are. Oh, they're still in my class. Oh, well, we're going to use these ones. So, we're going to use Paisley Place. My camera, I guess it's reversed, right? Let's see. How do I flip? Let's see. Hmm, what's this button do? No, <laughs> that doesn't do it. All right, I guess I'll leave it how it is. All right, so we're going to use Paisley Place. It does show up back to front. Paisley Place 2A and 2B, okay? So we're going to use those borders because that's what I have. And like I say, I'm just showing you. It doesn't need to be perfect. It will still come out just perfect because they always do. So I am going to do... I think I'm going to use this one for the border because I like the... the um, the two colors that the uh, more definition than this one. So I'm going to see if I can point you down a bit so you can see what I'm doing. All right. So all our borders work the same way. They fit together. Exactly. You see. So how they come together, the A and the B. They come together nicely, so when you put them against your 12 by 12 edge, I'm just going to make a little mark here. Oh, we're off camera. Can't show you. It's kind of hard to do like this. Maybe I should do it upside down because this way the comments are there. <laughs> so I see a whole bunch of comments, and I can't see what I'm doing. All right, let's see. Okay, so up against the top, right here, we're just going to make a mark because we're going to use our trimmer to do the rest. We're going to take our one piece away. We're going to trace along the line. Now, you see this paper is pretty dark, so I'm going to trace it twice. That will give me a really nice, dark, shiny, there we go, three times, line. That has a nice shimmer to it. So if it's a dark paper, if you just... Trace it a couple of times. It doesn't matter, matter if, you're bad, if your eyesight's bad or if it's a dark paper, you'll be able to see it better. And it'll give you a nice shimmer for cutting it. Get my paper trimmer buried. I'm going to cut off where I have my little niche. So I'm just going to make it to right where I uh, made the little mark in the paper. Cut that right off. And then I'm going to cut where I trace, traced. And I have my Tim Holtz scissors. Any of you guys have these scissors? I am a scissor pusher. I sell so many of these scissors. It is a product that Kiwi Lane sells. We do sell them for $15, but it is also a product that you can get um, at Joann's or Michael's. And they're a textured cut. I love them. I can't imagine doing Kiwi Lane without them. So I've got a quickly cut. Now you want to make sure you stay on the back of your scissor and turn your paper. That will give you a much smoother cut. So just turn your paper. You don't have to worry too much about that. That. Um, pencil line because we're going to ink it. All right, so then once you have it cut, you can see how the two colors match because they were a double-sided paper. Only the best scissors, Linda, I'm telling you, they are awesome scissors. They really are incredible. So the paper matches, so it doesn't matter. When you're doing double-sided paper, it just is easy. So let's see if we want to do it. Um, let's see. I think I like it that way better. It's a little higher, but no, I like it like that. So, I kind of have it like this. All right. I'm going to get my inks. Now, the ink that we have at Kiwi Lane is Tim Holtz Vintage Photo. Color. The vintage photo is a great color for using on darks and light paper, papers. Um, I have a lot of clients that use colored inks on colored papers. Um, I just like this color. I just like the 
the, the dimension adds. I'm not really adding, I'm not really looking to add another look. Um, I just like the dimension that it adds. But it covers your imperfections in your cutting, it covers up your pencil. It's a magic, magic dauber. dauber. All right, so we have our borders cut, we have our borders in. Here we have some adhesive in here. I have this little tiny table where it's a, a sweet, so I have this little breakfast nook table that we're working on. So it will work, but I'm already disorganized, so this will be really fun. Whoops. I'm just going to put some, I always put adhesive all over my borders because I like to leave it just at the top. I don't know if you can see that. I only put like a little thing across the top because that way when I put it on my page, if I want to put tuck pictures under it, or well, once I'm going to add on to this, I can uh, change it up. How far down do I want it? Mm. Let's go with that. So right now we have this. And then I still have this other piece of paper here. What I'm going to do is as it has rings in the print of the paper, I am going to use my rings. Who doesn't love rings? go with, let's try this size. I'm going to go with number two, which isn't the smallest. There is a smaller one. I'm going to go with number two. Because it, Eve works on black. What's that, Mary Beth? All right. Oh, yes, the ink. The, e, the ink even works on black. That's correct. It does. Is the best ink that even shows up on black. And especially with so many of these papers that some of the cardstocks are kind of thick and they crack. So this ink is great for covering that up. Not, not Kiwi's cardstock. Kiwi's cardstock is fabulous. Alright. Cutting out a circle. So first of all, when you're cutting out a circle, you want to get, get rid of the excess. Just get it out of there so it's easy. Much less to work with. Then you can go ahead and cut out your outer ring, remembering to turn your paper, not your scissor. It will give you a much smoother cut than if you try and turn your scissor. And then trick number two, much, 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 much easier. Look what I'm going to do. Look, 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 look. Oh my goodness, she's ruining her circle. Yes, I just cut right through it. And now I'm going to cut the inside. Okay, done. So, why did I cut right through it? Because it's no big deal. Because how often you could either, if you really wanted to keep it whole, you could put a little sticker on it, put something on it. But more often than not, we're going to put it under something, put it around something, like if I wanted to have it come, well, not really like that, but <laughs> you get my drift. But um, we're going to tuck it. So it doesn't matter if it's cut. It just makes it a lot, lot easier to play with. So I want to do another one. This has got multiple rings. I want to have the rings interlocking and yes I still need to um, ink it but I want to do what do you think what do you say do you say we do another right now we have a number two ring should we do another number two ring and interlock it or should we do a number one ring I think another two I like the number two let's do a number two number two works Do another number two ring. But yeah, with it, I have here two double-sided sheets of paper. If you were going to do single sides, three or four would work for a border. Also, I didn't follow my own, own advice. I left it attached to the paper, so now it's going to be a little bit more difficult to cut. I'm going to get in my own way. Okay, I 
can't ignore it. Gotta get rid of it. Okay. And cut through the circle again. Cut the middle out. Try to stay towards the back of the scissor. Turn the paper. All right. And ink. Hey, Mumsy. How are you? Are you all packed for Florida? All right. Mumsy, I'm showing borders. This is all for you. All right. When you're inking, remember, you just want to wipe your ink just a little bit on the edge. You do, don't, don't do this. Don't do this backwards and forwards. You're going to cut into your daubers. You're going to get a whole bunch of ink, wet ink, on the paper, but it's really not going to uh, give you the look you want. You just want to just a little bit. You're just trying to cause a little bit of depth. Cover up that pencil. Just quick, quick, quick. Inside. All right. And then I'm going to interlock them. And as I cut them, they interlock perfectly. Sorry, I'm hiding them from you because let me see if I can get rid of these comments. Ta da! There we go. Now I can see what I'm doing better. Let's see. I don't know what I'm doing. I'm playing as we go, just so you know. Um, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. What to do, what to do. You know what? No, I want it really going underneath. I think I want to come want it coming off. I know decisions, decisions. It's too late at night to make decisions. I don't like it all the way underneath. Well I can't I kind of do that. It's kinda of cool coming underneath. Hmm. It is kind of cool coming underneath. Maybe we need another one then, coming from the top. Because if we do just one, then it's not really enough. I think we need an interlocking one. And then we need one more. Oops, I'm, I'm showing you like this. <laughs> sorry, I'm really sorry. Can you tell I've not done this before? All right, so I'm just saying, if I did one here and then one here, it's kind of not enough. I like if we have it interlocking. And then I think we need one more. So bear with me. I am going to do one more circle. Underneath, you think, yeah, I think one more higher, Mary Beth, and then the one lower, so like the three, I think so. It needs more. I wonder if I should do a different size. Let's go with a tiny one. Let's do number one. Mix it up here. Mary Beth does awesome orders. She bought her orders to show me this weekend. Her first attempt and wow, did she do an awesome job. So even on this tiny one, if you're cutting, as long as you cut through the ring, it's not hard to get the middle out. I can't imagine trying to do it without cutting through it. Okay, ink. Are you making borders tonight, Mary Beth? What are you doing? All right. Now you wait. Now I'm not going to like this little one. You wait. You wait. You wait. You wait. Oh, I think I like that. I think I gonna like it. I think I'm getting there. I think once we get a little title on here, we'll be good to go. 
All right, let's see. I'm gonna get some pop dots because they can't all be the same. I'm gonna make something a little poppy. A little poppier. All right, so I am going to stick this one. And really, it's just playing to create. It's just moving things around, playing with them. Now, if I had multiple templates, I guess I could have played with them ahead of time to decide to design it. But this works too. This is fun. Oops, I just stuck it to the table. Oopsie. Hmm. Way too much adhesive on it. Let's try it there then. Seeing as I put too much adhesive on it. Cute wedding rings, it would be. Alright, I'm gonna have to do this because I put too much adhesive there to do it that way. I'm gonna have a sticky back. Not that you guys would see it, but would bother me. Oh my goodness, I'm really having trouble with sticking this thing down now. Let's see. No, alright, I like it like that. Here where it's cut, and then <laughs> let's see what title we have before we stick down the little the tiniest ring because this one can kind of go here, it can go off of the bottom more, we can add it under here, it can kind of go every, anywhere, anywhere, everywhere. I think I kind of like it going up well. So, let's see. Oh, I was going to pop that in. That's right. No, I don't really like it up here. And we're going to pop that in. Forget the title. It's getting pop, popped. Pop, pop, pop. Are you resting after the track tournament? How did that go? Did it, I hope you didn't get caught in the rain. All of a sudden, it started coming down crazy here. So again, on this split where I cut it, you see the little split, let me get rid of that. This little split, all I wanna do is just tuck, make sure it's under so that nobody sees it. And then I'm just popping the side that's up. And I could even do that with this one. Same thing if I wanna pop. Let's see, maybe, yeah, pop this side. this down. Okay. See? So two pieces of paper. This was just the one border. I took the A and the B and cut it, flipped them around, and then three rings. And now I'm going to hold on, I have to stick this down. This piece is loose. And they're loose pieces. Loose pieces don't work. And of course I got adhesive in the wrong spot before. Let's get my eraser. A rubber erase and get it off there. All right, title. Let's see. I think of little boy things, but let's see. Um, I need a title. A title, a title. Of course, you cricket people could just stick any title on that. These border, our borders work perfectly with a cricket. You could cut any size title you want and just put it right across there, and you could easily put it. I mean, this title would work for anything for spring, little boy stuff, which is what I keep thinking little boy. But let's see what kind of title I come up with. <laughs> this could be the hardest part. Creating the borders is much easier. Uh, check this out. Hmm, I kind of like these colors. They kind of work. Hey, Mariella, how are you? 
so I kind of like these colors. This is an all close to my heart uh, compliment stickers from the Jackson collection. These have been around a while. So this is the border I have right now. And these are the stickers I have right now. I am thinking... best adventure you can take is to live the life of your dreams. Hmm. Keep this ticket. Admittance. Valuable memory. That's cute. Captured memory. I kind of like that. Let's see. This is cute too. If you haven't seen anything incredible today, go outside. That's kind of cool. That's, that's a ring. Hmm. I wonder that would fit on there. See, I might have to do that. Look, see what's nice about these, um, it's, as they're clear, you can see where they would be. So this is the small ring, which I just used right here. Okay. If I was to use this title, if I put the ring on top of it, I can see how big it is. I can see it would just mat it. So if I wanted to stick that on here, I could just mat it. That one says, if you haven't seen anything to, incredible today, go outside. I kind of like that, and I kind of like captured memory. What do you think? You like the first one? What's the first one? The first one, if you haven't seen anything incredible today, go outside. Or... The best adventure you can't take. Blah, blah, blah. The best adventure you can take is to live your life, the life of your dreams. Hmm. Which one, Mary Alice? We're gonna go with what Mary Alice says. As soon as she tells me which one the first one is, we're gonna go with her opinion. I trust her. Mary Alice. Mary Alice got good stuff. I like these colors. I like that feather. Isn't that neat? I really like the detail on that feather. That would be kind of busy on here, even though it's really cool colors. Let's capture memory. The best adventure you can take is to live the life of your dreams. Or if you haven't seen anything incredible today, go outside. First ones. Hmm. I'm not sure which one she likes. So let's go with. Um... Hold on. Where is my? Uh... Let's see. Hmm. I think if we go with a circle, I like the circle, and I think this one. I think if we mad it, the best adventure you can take is to live the life of your dreams. Go outside would be great for a little boy. You're right, Linda. And I was thinking little boy. Yes. I was thinking little boy. I don't know why I was thinking little boy, but I was stuck on that little boy. So let's go with that. If you haven't seen anything incredible, let's go outside. All right. So, and look at that. I even have a circle cut already. So I didn't even have to cut the circle because it was from the center of this one. So I didn't even have to cut it. So it's right here. So I'm just going to ink it. you guys there to interact with much easier all right so let's stick this on here it's perfect size just a little bit of mat and then let's put this down a bit more so it doesn't move around on me And then I want my pop stuff. Yes, see, I'm cheap. When I do my classes too, I make people use the inside of the pop dot and they never understand what I'm talking about. I was like, use the foam outside. See, I use the I use the inside dot and then I use the, the outside pieces. 
cheap. But I figure it's still the foam. It's the same stuff. Frugal. All right. Spread it around. And then decide where to stick this thing. Let's see. Oh, too close. Here, here. I kind of like it there. It's kind of cool up here. You see? So what I'm thinking is <laughs> here, but I kind of like I kind of like bringing it down because I think here, if I left it away from here, if I put it down, hold on, where I'm upside down again. I'm thinking I'm changing my thinking. My thinking changes as I talk to you. All right, I changed my mind. It's going right here. Am I throwing bits of paper at you? <laughs> Just like flinging them off. Ready? Oops. Uh, mm. You know, I'm just gonna cut that top straight because the paper's straight here. Waving scissors in your face. Kind of dangerous, huh? Bring bring paper at you. Wave scissors at you. It's not that straight. Is it? Oh, yes, it is. Just ink that again. Now cut it off. All right, I think I'm good with that. What do you think? You kind of get a good enough look view of that. It's simple, but you could even put it. You could put a picture here. You could always add some more to it. I think that's cute. So just from double-sided scraps. So just from two pieces, and of course I still have plenty here that I could do another coordinating piece. So I should do that. I should do the other one, huh? And then I could um, put the other title on it for the bottom of the page. So I can show you how to do that too. All right, so let's do that. Let's do the other side. So from the rest of the paper, we'll do it again. You ready? Get set, go. I don't remember what I used. Huh? I do really. All right, so we had 2B, but because I could lose something sitting in a circle, I can't find the other piece. Here it is. I literally have like a one foot by one foot square. You wait and see how much I lose stuff. Okay, so we have 2A and 2B. How many templates come in a set? Who knows the answer to that? I don't know what paper this is. It's um, just from from um, scraps. It's just from um, probably from a swap table. I probably thought it was really cute. I love blue, so anything with the blue in it tends to find its way to my scrap pile. Um, so it's re I don't know. It's from one of the tear off pa uh, paper pads. I don't know what paper it is. Sorry, no no help to you. Um, but this is Paisley Place I'm using, and six templates come in each of our sets. Very good, Linda. Linda knew the answer. Six come in each set. So you get three sets, one, two, three, A and B. So I'm using set number two. I also have set number three here. Um, number one is actually in my class kits because I'm using that tomorrow night for set. Sorry, Terry. It is pretty paper, though. All right, so... Again, all I'm going to do is place them down, and you can see it's actually um, pretty much exactly six inches because I already used the other half of the paper. You can see it's pretty much exact. So all I need, so I don't even need to mark the one side. Let me get my envelope out of the way. I don't even need to mark the one side because I can't read. Hold on, you know, I just realized I moved my camera out. That's why it's not working. There we go. All right, so I don't need to mark it because it's already six inches. So I'm just going to trace one of them. 
And that's the mouth side I traced it on. Again, if you're tracing on dark paper, trace it two or three times. This isn't too bad, I'm doing it on the lighter side. If you're doing it on the dark paper, trace a couple of times. Then if, even if you can't see the pencil, the, um, the shine of it will show up. But you can also get a white pencil that will help you. Just make sure they're photo safe. Gonna cut a line. Okay. So then, so then we have this, right? And then all I'm gonna do is flip. Hold on. I'm going too high again. This camera's confusing me. We have this. I'm going to flip one over and then so from one little piece of paper I'm making my border okay good thing with double-sided paper it's fun 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 all right so I'm gonna look at my other border just to see how I want it I don't want it exactly the same as my other border well maybe I do but I don't think I do yeah see right now I have it exactly the same I don't want to get those out of there see right now Exactly the same. I don't want exactly the same. So I'm going to try turn them the other way. There we go. So now I don't know if you can see what I what I was seeing before. Let's see. Um, so how I had it, I'll show you. So how I had it before, these bottom pieces, you see they both have the um, the hills and you know coming this way. So they're exactly the same. I think that would be kind of boring. So I just turned that one upside down, turned that one upside down. So it has the opposite. So hopefully, yes, I like that. All right, so I'm going to ink those. How many of you are uh, cropping this weekend for National Scrapbooking Day? Any of you getting a chance to scrapbook? I'll be the crop all weekend, so I'll be here till Sunday. I get to take advantage of it. I get to be here for May the 4th, be with you. And I get to be um, here for Cinco de Mayo. We're having a, a little cook, a little uh, dinner for that. And National Scrapbook Day, so what a weekend to be away. Two weeks, Terry. You're going away. For, you're away for two weeks, or you're going in two weeks. Because if you're away for two weeks scrapbooking, I'm jealous. Well, actually, I can't be that jealous. I've been away for the last three weekends. I've only been home Mondays, Tuesdays, and Wednesdays for the last three weeks, so I can't complain. Oops! 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 So I did, I'm going to do the same as I did on the other one. So I did two of the larger ones and one smaller one. And I got smarter. Just going to do uh, the inside. Ah, the crop you're going to in two weeks. I was going to say, what? I don't know. Fun, two week crop, that might be fun. It might be a little too long. <laughs> Where are you going in two weeks, Linda? Everything slows down for me after this event. I'm really, I only have like one cup a month. It's gonna be really weird. 
but I hope you guys will pop in for National Scrapbook Day on Saturday for Kiwi Lane. They're going to be giving away a heap of stuff. So the challenges and games should be fun. I'm going to be playing along. I hope to win too. We can all play. I have no idea, no heads up as to what the challenges will be. But I think challenges are fun. Makes us think out of the box. So I'm just cutting out my rings. Terry, that must have been not not good at all. Cindy will take care of you. Cindy will take good care of you. Yeah, that's no fun when you're away and you don't feel good. No fun at all. I was a little leery. I'm going to Kiwi Conference a month from now, and it's in Boise, Idaho, and they have, unfortunately. Uh, as we're such a, still such a small company, they um, weren't able to really book it way in advance because they you know, don't have enough people and it turned out they didn't get enough people still and had to change the venue and you have to drive from the airport like 40 miles and so needless to say I was starting to kind of panic about the whole thing so uh, I nearly... Uh, canceled for exactly that reason Terry I was really worried that if I started to get a little nervous I started to get a little dizzy I mean vertigo is terrible but with me if I get an, you know anxiety starts kicking in I get just just that um, lightheadedness and dizziness from that which will just amplify and that ugh, so vertigo no getting rid of that at least anxiety will pass but I'm going I have fabulous teammates who Called me right up when I when they saw my post and told me they are uh, they're rooming with me and they're gonna drive me and they're gonna be there for me and so it's fabulous to know we're not alone and that uh, okay we're stubborn we think we're alone we try to do it all but we really aren't and there are people out there willing to help us out which is really nice and Cindy is definitely one of those girls she'll definitely help you out so I hope you have a fun day and you don't get sick this time. Vertigo is horrible though. Sometimes it just lasts so long. That's the worst thing. You just don't know how long it's going to take for it goes away. So I'm just inking my rings. So everything's cut out. My border is cut and inked. My rings are cut. Two weeks. Oh, yeah. I'm glad you're finally feeling better. That's frustrating. All right, we are inked. So, oh, no, I need this circle. It's going to be my map, my sticker. Linda's never done a virtual crop. Oh, Linda. It's fun. It's just, you can do it from wherever you are. So in your craft room, in your front room, wherever. Hopefully you can actually have a space to crop. But if you're not, if you're out, if you have to work, you can keep peeking in on us. But they will have, um, you can go to the event link that I posted. And throughout the day, they will post different challenges. They'll pay, post some page challenges. Like we'll actually give you kind of a map of a page to kind of create in your own variation. And then I'm sure some there'll be just a prize for doing and others they will enter you to win and then others it may just be uh, enter to win for using rings so make something using rings and you'll enter to win um, so it'll be all different stuff but they will come on live and do stuff they'll make posts um, um, 
I am now Alita with Kiwi Lane. I have made the IG, IGU level, um, which I can't think what it stands for now. <laughs> but I made it, whatever that level is. I'm actually a level higher than that now. Um, but as a leader, they have asked us to actually hop on. So um, be checking in from, from here just to say hi. So that will be cool. But yeah, it'll be fun. So it's just different, different challenges, different games, and just everybody scrapbooking where they are all over the world. Well, have more, more like all over America, but you know, they could be all over the world. They can be everywhere. Like my daughter's in Scotland and she was just on. So it can be anywhere and they can be scrapbooking or card making wherever they are and uh, join in the fun and games with us all. So it's kind of neat. It's neat, you know, in this virtual world we live in where people don't have time and people are still, you know, I think it'll be fun. I've never been able to participate in a, in a full one. I'm hoping I will for this one. I've always had other commitments going on the, during a day of a virtual crop. So I'm hoping this one, as I'm actually at an event, I can get in more. So, all right, let's see here. So I'm just trying to play with the rings. Let's see, I should show you. I have my other border out above and I'm just trying to see I have my other title right here so I'm just trying to see how I like it I think I am going with something like what about this little ring right here yet Well, something has to be in. Something's got to go in here. Let's see. Mm. Decisions, decisions. I kind of like that. Or yeah, I kind of think I like. I kind of think I like it like that. Don't know if I like how this ring just disappears. I don't know if I want that out or not. Maybe we'll put this one out. No, back to how it was. How long was that? I don't remember now. <laughs> I liked how it was. Should have just left it. Huh? Let's see. Um, I think I had this around here. And this around here. No. Tuck anything in. What about the other side of the ring? Is it darker? It is. Good thinking. Ah. that one too then. Hmm, all right. Let's think this side. Good thinking, Terry. Uh, 
All right, so let's take this one off. Good thing with pop dots, they come off much better than adhesive. And then we can Okay. Uh, then we move this one down here again, I guess. Yeah, I like it. I like that very much. I like the contrast. Good thinking. All right. So I can pop this one up. Adhesive in the right place this time. <laughs> All right, let's see. So I want that to be hiding under there. It's just going to be all the way under here. That's going to hide under there. This one's going to go over here. Maybe. I think that works. All right. Sticking it down. No more changing my mind. <laughs> Adhesive is not so great. I just use my uh, favorite memories one. Or even the um, Kiwi Lane adhesive is pretty good. Coming up here with me. All right. They are all stuck, and I don't have any adhesive on the back, which is pretty impressive. Nothing sticking to the table. Thank you, Linda. Good night. Thanks for helping me out. You did. So yeah, so there's the completed project. So really, really easy. So just two pieces, yeah, two pieces of paper. Let me hold it up so you can see. Two pieces of paper and you've got two pages done, really. I mean, you put your pictures on there and you're done. So awesome. Thank you, thank you for hanging out, Linda. But yeah, I really like how that came out. Let me just see. Make sure we're stuck down good. Here, I have to stick this one down still. You know what? I think I can maybe use this black ring over here to cover up the adhesive I put in the wrong spot. And I won't have to worry getting about erasing it later. Hmm. Let's see. Let's see, let's see. It goes that way. Got a puzzle. Cover up the eraser. The uh, <laughs> the sticky. There we go. Perfect. Sweet Terry, you saved me from having to worry about the sticky. All right. That's really cool. That came out cute. Pop this up. Then right back here I can stick this one to this mountain just so it's attached to something. I don't really once I if I was sticking it to a page, I would be able to stick it, stick the rings down to the page I was sticking it to, but of course I don't want to stick it but sticky on the back. But I could stick it right back here so it's stuck better. But that came out really cute. Cute, cute, cute. So hopefully I give you an idea of, I mean, you can really just play with them, but 
it really was just using scrap paper, just two sheets, using two borders. And it doesn't matter what borders you have, just using just those two borders, placing them together, which again, I think I've switched them up again. Yep, I do. I have switched them up again. How many times can I grab the different ones? It's a good thing I don't have a whole bunch of sets out because I'm already having trouble. Huh? <laughs> so you just, just from having your two borders. So, you know, you really, it really shows you don't have to have a whole bunch of stuff just from those two and laying them on top of each other. It's endless the amount of things you can do with it and then just decorating it. So, fun, fun, fun. So I think that's it for tonight. I have to say, I think, uh, I think it's just you and me, Terry. I think everyone else, I think everyone else went to bed. <laughs> I think it's that late, but I guess it's a Thursday night, I guess. I'm lucky because it's my Friday, but I guess everybody else had to go to the, has to go to work tomorrow. So, but thanks for hanging out and thanks for uh, helping me out, Terry. I really that was really quick thinking of you to to change the color around because I wasn't working with all that blue, even though I like blue. So, thanks so much. Have a great night. See you on Saturday. I hope for National Scrapbooking Day and have a great weekend.